Welcome, welcome to the stream for Best Music Coach. My name is Dan, and you are watching a music teacher's reaction live in real time to the Mother 3 original soundtrack, part three. I've never heard this music before in my life, so everything I do talk about teach breakdowns can be off the top of my head, inspired in the moment with no prior knowledge or preparation. So let's see what happens. We're gonna find out together. Make sure you hang out to the very end for my final reaction and summary. Any super chats that you make, you can tell me what OST you want me to react to next. You can check the list of all the OSTs I've reacted to in the past and all upcoming OSTs in the description of this video. That being said, I also want to give a shout out and a thank you to Nintendo for allowing us to have this time together and for creating this music to put smiles on all our faces. And with that being said, let's get rocking and rolling with chapter three. <laughs> More. Okay, well, that was fascinating. And I'll tell you one of the most fascinating parts about that was the change. Indeed, moving back and forth, where'd my sound go? One, two. Well, my sound is somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow, there's my sound. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be here for two. Oh, there it was. Today or not. You know, I had everything sound checked before I started this stream. Anyway, so the really cool thing was we had a difference between major and minor. And we've actually talked about this already in this OST, but very cool we have the opportunity to talk about this again here. So, um,. Something like that was what happened in the in the uh, song we just listened to. And that was very cool. Is right before that, we were here, and then we went here. Type a one in the chat if you can hear the difference between A 
and B. Option A. Option B. Type a two in the chat if you can hear the difference. Between A and B. Again, type a two in the chat if you can hear a difference. Between this and this. This and this. This and this. Okay. So basically what we have here is the difference between something called major and something called minor. Major, we can think of this as being happy, a happy occasion, a happy sound is major. And the minor is more sort of like it's thoughtful. It's thoughtful. It's, it's going, oh, I wonder where Sally went all those years ago. The major's like, oh, yes, we're going to eat popcorn and things, right? And so to have that change between both... Oh, yes, we're going to eat popcorn and things, and where did Sally go all those years ago? That is a very interesting thing to have in the same piece of music. And that's a very cool thing that I just wanted to point out to you guys. Where did Sally go? All right, let's keep this thing going. So what's really cool here too is we just had an idea that we've had before. We've heard that before, but this time it was completely different chords. And how cool is that? So look, it's like we go. Or we could go Or we could go even even and so the whole thing there, it's like you take the same melody idea. Now the melody idea is the and then changing the chords underneath it, changing what I was doing here on the guitar made it sound completely different. So I'm singing the same idea. But it sounds very different than which sounds different than which sounds different than oh look out and so all that is that's changing the chords that are underneath the melody that's called harmonization okay let's check out the next one which is called even in my dreams the mosquitoes haunt me. I remember the mosquitoes.
Okay, so here's another time where we have both major and minor in the same song, but it's a little bit different than the last time. The last time we had major and minor in the same song, we were really going between a home base of major and a home base of minor. What we have here is indeed a home base. A home base of minor. Now here is where we change to major. But what's happening is here, this major is not serving as a home base, it's actually serving as a launching pad to go somewhere else. It's like a doorway in a video game where sometimes you walk through and it takes you to one place, sometimes you walk through and it takes you to another. It's the same exact idea if you ever played some of those like old SNES games. I can't think of one where a doorway takes you to different places off the top of my head. But I'm sure there's one out there where you walk through a doorway one time, it takes you somewhere, you walk through a doorway a second time, it takes you to a different place. But it's the same idea here. Sometimes this chord here, it acts as a home base, and sometimes it acts as a launching pad and takes us somewhere completely different. Oh, how beautiful. The levels with warp pads, sure, exactly. So if we think about Link to the Past on the SNES with the warp pads, uh, depending on, uh, oh no, that, that was the color of the little octopod things. Anyway, we'll get there. The point is, the chords sometimes, major and minor, they don't just function as home bases. They actually function as doorways, as pathways that lead us to new major and minor chords. So for example, this chord leads to this chord. This chord leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, which, I mean, leads to this chord. And there's different variations of how chords can lead. Because you could also say that this chord technically leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, which leads to this chord, to this chord using something called tritone substitution. We'll say that for another day. All right. Discord leads to Discord. Very funny, chat.
Okay. Well, look, some of you are asking, look, why does this sound European? And also, I'm sorry, I'm bleeding from my face. I absolutely sliced myself open when I was shaving yesterday. Um, and then just now it was itching and I wasn't thinking. And then I just scratched where I cut myself and I'm bleeding it. So I, I apologize in advance. I apologize for my blood. I, I apologize for my blood. But you know what? It's part of life. It's, it, I just want to share what's inside of me with all of you here. <laughs> Says every creator ever. But will they bleed for you like I will? No. Okay. Um, so, uh, a lot of you are wondering, why does this sound European? Well, I'll tell you, there's a couple reasons why it sounds, uh, why it sounds European. Uh, the first is you've heard a lot of... A lot of music throughout your lives, every time you see Paris, for example, uh, in a TV show or in a movie, you hear music just like this. Just like this. You hear music just like this. And so that's part of why it sounds European to you, because you've heard this music associated with images of Europe. Now I look like my grandfather. I remember when I was like five, I walked in and saw my grandfather like <laughs> paper all over his face. I was like, how could you be that bad at shaving? Okay. Um, may you rest in peace. So, yeah, the Cordings Europe too, yes, but also Eastern Europe, you know, thinking Poland, thinking Slavic countries. Um, so what's interesting too is that when you hear music like this, yeah, exactly. It's not even that European. When you hear music like this, it goes back to the sort of folk idea. And there's these deep folk roots of folk music that run through many different European countries that is, well, at a very, and I'm simplifying here, but it's very similar. Uh, so, for example, like what I was playing before. Sorry, wrong sound. Like Italian, yeah. French, sure. And so you have these commonalities, especially because like all these, huh, compared to the United States, small countries in a small geographical area where borders have shifted over time. And so these music cultures really seep sort of into the ground, into the, into the blood, if you will. All right. Let's check out this next one. Yeah, Romani too. Uh huh. Thank you. 
All right, so it seems like it's looping here. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, actually, close enough. Um, so. So what's really beautiful and wonderful about this bass line is that it happens in a place where you might not expect. And when I say you might not expect, this is what I mean. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is where you might be feeling the pulse. And see how the bass is going, playing around where I'm snapping. So listen to where I'm snapping versus where the bass is actually playing. It's playing in almost all the places where I'm not snapping. And so that's what we would call syncopated. And that's really one of the beautiful, amazing, wonderful things. Uh, well, part of it syncopated. And so one of the really beautiful, amazing things is that you would think that that bass line would be, well, more in line with where the pulse is, but it's not. And that's part of what makes it absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and awesome. And that's something you can hear a lot in, well, different cultures around the world, I'll tell you. I can definitely think of some sort of Balkan style music that'll do things like that. Think of South American. Yeah, different, different Latin music schools where that'll happen. Love it. Okay. Let's check out this next one. Okay. So I'm actually, hold on, hold on. So something I want to point about the last two tunes is that this actually holds another music culture, which is this right here. Going back and forth. Or. Or. And what's interesting is we can hear that in Latin music, we can hear it in European music, hear it in some Slavic music, and this idea of just going back and forth is so universal across so many different disparate, oh, that's a good word, disparate music cultures. Yeah, ska too, exactly. And so what we just heard there was more examples of the... Now, type a three in the chat if you'd like to understand what's actually happening there. Like, what is this? Love to hear in the chat. Type a three in the chat if you'd like to understand. Type a three from Mother Three in the chat. If you'd like to understand what on earth is happening here on this. This universal thing. And this universal thing, which also will show up in marches as well. All right, so guys, here's what's really cool. 
You may have heard me talk about this before, but if not, don't worry. If this is your first time, I'll break this down. In music, we like to associate sounds with numbers. So this sound is going to be number one. This will be two. This will be three. This will be four. This will be five. One, two, three, four, five. And so what's happening is we're just alternating between one, five, 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 one, five. And so just going back and forth between the one and the five, both for major and minor it's all about the one and the five now the five doesn't have to be higher than the one like you notice here we're going one five and the five's higher than one five can actually be lower than one we can go one five one five one five one five, one, five or one five So it's all just about alternating between one and five, and indeed, you can hear this in marches. So we have Audacious March. I'd be willing to put money on the fact that we're about to hear this play out also in a march. Because in a march, what does this do? Shows you left, right, left, right, left, right, left, or perhaps right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You get the idea. It's all about having these two alternating notes back and forth, one and five, going back and forth. So I'll tell you, there's going to be something we're going to be looking out for here in Chapter 3. First, I'd like to say thank you to Irish Soy Boy for your generous Super Chat. I will read all Super Chats at the end. By the way, Super Chats right now are going to finance the discovery and the development of shorts for this channel. I'm working with a couple different shorts editors trying to find a good fit, trying to find a good pace, good content to bring you guys daily. That's the goal, to bring you seven shorts a week here on YouTube. So that's what short that's what uh super chat money is going towards right now, in addition to uploading your favorite OST. So something I want to point out that we've heard a couple times in this part three that I've not pointed out yet, which I'm gonna start pointing out now because I can hear perhaps it's going to be a recurring, eh, not theme, but a recurring thing, is that we have these sort of typical songs how you would normally have them. Every once in a while we have these really odd, very, very fun little little musical elements that are coming out to play. And I'll start pointing them out. I think they're going to show up more because this is the second song we've now heard them in. And so I wonder in the game if there are some small maybe animals, birds, entities that are flying around maybe trying to distract you uh, during this chapter three. So there's something going on there. It could also just be part of the music, but maybe it represents something in the actual game. <laughs> At any rate, let's continue forward here.
Okay. Well, we actually heard that music before in slightly different circumstances, which was pretty cool and nice to hear it back again alive and well there. Let's check out this next one, which is called Something Strange is Going On. Joshua. All right, so it's pretty cool here is that you can hear through this whole entire first section, only one is playing. So remember we talked about one, two, three, four, five. It's just one, maybe a couple fives in there. One, one. Ah, five, one. 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 Back, back and forth between... Going back and forth between one and five here as well. And you can hear this is not the same type of one and five as we're like, this is not really. It's like. That. <laughs> and so here's just another instance of one and five underpinning, holding down the fort on an entire piece of music. How wild is that? That just these two notes are so ubiquitous and found in so many different styles, genres, and music from different points in history. Fascinating. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so like the whole time we were hanging out in like, if you'll forgive my whying, I do enjoy a good wah. Basically G land, then going to B minor, then going to E minor, effectively the six, and then two, five, 
going back to one, I believe. Now, what's kind of cool is right at the end, when we came back to one, it was one with a third in the bass, and then it went to, nah. Maybe B flat, then A. Uh, two, five, and then it was like, E flat, F to G, but not an ordinary G. A G major seven. How pretty, how pretty is that right there? Let's see if we can conjure something up over here. There we go. Oh, listen to that. How pretty is that? And so when I talk about the difference between a G major and a G major 7, all we're doing is we're adding a note. We're adding in 7. So going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going 1, 3, 5, and 7 all together at the same time. That creates a G major 7. Beautiful. Wonderful chord progression. All right, this next one is called... Oh, chapter four, which I'm looking very much forward to right after I learned how to speak English correctly. Okay, so chapter four came in with a... Just that chord progression right there, which we've heard quite a few times. By the way, in the chat, go ahead and type the number four for chapter four. If you want to be clever, you can type 7 for chapter 4 of Mother 3, or alternately, you could type 12, uh, or 1, or I don't, I don't know what 4 divided by 3 is. But there you go. Right, because 4 plus 3 is 7. 4 times 3 would be 12. What's 4 cubed? Anyone out there? What's what what's 6? Uh, 4 times 4 is... Yeah, four, four times four, four times about sixteen would be would be squared. What's four cubed? Anyone? Okay. Um, this is what is called railway in our village. Let's check it out. Six, is it sixty-four? We'll see. There you go. How cool. I know math. Protoplasm. Yeah. No. 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 I don't. No. I don't. I, I did too much think. Dan hurt brain. Okay. This next one is called railway in our village. Oh, wow. So here's the thing. We actually heard this song like back in part one. We heard this. And here's the thing. It was only back in part I can't even remember if it was different or not. All I know is we sure have heard this thing before. As sure as a cars and a frog. The car frog. Frog car. Let's play charades but with emojis. 
Let's play charades with emojis. You guys type what you think. I should know an emoji, and I will try and figure it out. I'm going to play emoji charades. Emoji charades. It was a lot more rustic back then. All right, says Vasu. Let's go. Let's go. Emoji charades. Okay. Frog car. Frog vehicle. Uh, Toad of Toad Hall and his automobile. From the Wind in the Willows. That's <laughs> it's a deep cut. Frog car. Best music coach, Person House City. Uh, okay, frog duck. Uh, duck frog. Uh, a chimera between a duck. A chimera duck frog? There's chimera duck frogs? <laughs> chimera duck frogs. Look out. You gotta watch out for those chimera duck frogs. Wow. So, not only an Earthbound moment, but like, you can really see the influence of Earth, Earthbound on Undertale. And Gamer Squiddy, I remember Squiddy back in the day, months ago. Gamer Squiddy, who's on the chat right now, was like, hey Dan, you know, if you listen to Earthbound and then you listen to Undertale, you will hear some connections. And sure enough, I'm right there with you, Gamer Squiddy. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, that's Squiddy right there in the chat. Okay. I'll tell you, one of the coolest things right there is that moment where it goes. I guess it brings us back home. Now, what this is right here, this is something called tritone substitution. Kind of an advanced idea, but roll with me here. Basically, if we go one, two, three, four, five, one and five. We take the one, we build a chord on top of it. We take the five, we build a chord on top of it. Now, what happens is we can take... So in this five chord, we got one, two, three, three notes together. What happens is we can change one of those notes. See, these two notes stay the same. Here and here. See, these two notes are staying the same. And we're just changing the bottom note out for something called a tritone, which is like one, two, three, four, five, and a little less than five. And that brings us back home. So we have...
and so cool to have that tritone substitution. So here's the difference between using five and then using the tritone substitution of five. So here's regular style. Here's tritone substitution style. One more time, using five. Using tritone substitution. See, it gets us to the same place. It's just a different type of doorway that we're walking through to bring us back home. This is really quiet. Oh, that's starting to sound the Tetris theme. I don't know why the volume's so quiet. Hey, chat. Does anyone want to guess what's happening in the bass here? I'll give you a hint. It's two numbers. Two whole numbers. Yes, indeed. Two integers between one and seven. What do you think that's going to be? Chat, what do you think's happening in the bass here in this song? It's two, it has to do with two numbers. Oh, box, you got it. Box, you got it. Right. So box, box up us. One and five. Yes. One and five. Joshua, one and five. You got it. Oh, T Max got jokes, as does Squiddy. Yeah, rubber man. Exactly. One and five. All day. See, this doesn't sound like the march, does it? This doesn't sound like that sort of big energy, sort of pomp and ceremony thing. All it is, it's like one in five under everything. It's under so many different things. Okay. Ah. I think I got it this time. We're gonna go through one more time. I think I got it.
Okay, so let's talk about what actually happened there. When you're saying a little loud, what do you mean, actual? Do you mean that the music's loud? Do you mean my guitar's loud? Okay. So look, what's pretty cool here, number one, is the... Yeah, guys, lower the volume. This is normal volume. We had a quiet song. Okay. I turned up the music. Uh, I don't know. The music is louder than it was before. Is that normal? Is that too quiet? Yeah, I think it was just the track. Yeah. Okay. Oops. What did I do? Yeah, guys, it's just the tracks that are loud and quiet. Sorry, they, they, I, 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 I don't have control over it. So keep, keep your volume down as much as you can. And uh, yeah, so look, let's talk about this reggae tune. Uh, so one thing I want to point out to you, which is pretty cool, is when we went to the five there, so we hung out in one, and then, uh, then it was, now here's what's pretty cool. Uh, Right there, so you go into five, then sliding five up a half step, and bringing five back down. How cool is that? Super cool. So I apologize in advance for your volume experience. Please always err on the side of being quieter than louder because I do not want you to hurt your eardrums. And we will proceed on. Normally we have good volume, but unfortunately the place looks like we're working with today has a little bit of volume, but hey, look, what can we do? Like, this is full volume here. Right here, this bit has bits from not just not not a previous track, but also it seems to be like a pop song too. Maybe it's just I'm remembering the previous track. The whatever it was. Right there, definitely heard that before. Possibly in a pop song, possibly in a previous track. Okay, let's go to the next one. Turn your volume down. Uh, 
Oh, well, here we go. What's interesting there is just let's just talk about the first four chords because I got those, uh, which was. And then modulating up by what is essentially a minor third. Very interesting there, just to have that relationship going by a minor third. We heard a minor third a whole bunch in Final Fantasy VII, is we heard Nobu Uematsu modulating up by minor thirds, and also down by minor thirds as well. That being said, let's check out the next one, which is unsettling pressure. Oh yeah, oh heck yeah. Oh my gosh, my favorite track of all the time. Oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh. Now, I'll tell you something. This is easily, hands down, my favorite track I've heard so far in this entire OST. This is sick. This is so cool. This is, like, awesome. Now, another thing I'll say is if I recall correctly, if my memory serves, there was another track kind of like this in Earthbound that was, like, a little weird, a little sort of off the beaten path. And if I recall correctly as well, when I heard that one, I was like, wait a second, that one is also my favorite. Yeah, this is easily, easily my top track so far of every single song we've heard and Mother 3. This is sick. I just want you guys to understand. And if you've never made music, even if you understand nothing about music, what you just heard, what you just witnessed was, I mean, the confluence, the meeting, the joining of art, genius, music theory, and inspiration all coming together. Wow. 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 That was sick. If I may go so far as to say that was dope. That there was dope. Thank you. 
All right, one more time. We're gonna make this thing swing a little. You guys want to know how I count this? One T dot two T dot one and two and uh, one and two. No, uh, no, one and two and three. And one T dot two T dot one and two and three. And one T dot two T dot one and two and three. And one T dot two T dot one and two and three. And it's also well, I always like to do that. I want to live in America. Hey Dan, this is Gamer Squiddy. Do you want to live in America? Yes, I do. Yes, I do very much want to. I mean, I also like live. I you know, Japan was cool. I lived in France for a while. That was nice. I also like living in America. Well, triplets, yeah, kind of, sort of. Really, it's uh, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a uh, hemiola, if you will, or a combination of two. Uh, I want to be in a break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, three plus three plus two plus two plus two. Sure. Yeah, but I would count it more as one t dot two t dot one and two and three, and to really show that we have these like compound. It's really co switching between compound and simple meter. That's really the whole thing. Oh, I was also I've also been in Scotland, I've also been in England, also been in Ireland. Yet not Wales, therefore I cannot inside outside donkey's tails just yet. Oh, heck yeah.
So that was so much fun. It's always fun when the song's predictable enough that I can just play along with it the first time around. Um, essentially, going D, excuse me, E, D, C, G, F sharp, secondary dominant, bringing us to B, sus, then back to one. But quality of the chords there was pretty interesting and I'll tell you let's come on let's go back by one Something weird with my something weird is going on with my ear there. It's like all major sevens. Until we get to here, do we have a secondary dominant 505? And then uh, sus when the chord is sus. And I bring it back. fascinating what it is no wonder I don't know why I wasn't picking up on that yeah sure minor major seven So the whole thing here is that the, and I was technically correct when I was playing this major seven here. I was just being, you know, sometimes even music teachers make mistakes. Yeah, so E minor major seven. I'm sitting, I'm going like, what was happening? Just having a little ear break down there, but that's okay. Let's go to the next one.
And so we have here is another a cello rondo. What's an a cello rondo, you ask? A cello rondo is when you gradually increase your speed over time. That's exactly what was happening there. Fortunately, I couldn't get through it all rolled R's, but hey, what are you going to do? All right, this next one is called... Type, type it to the chat if you want to skip this. Like, I, I think we get the idea. Type it to in the chat if you want to skip this. I need to see more twos. I need to see more twos. More twos. More twos. All right. Let me skip it. I'll tell you what was happening in there. What was happening in there was a blues. And so I'll play you what was actually happening behind all that wind. You're saying, Dan, how on earth did you know it was happening on that wind? Check it out. This is exactly what was happening behind the wind. bar blues this is club titibu theme <laughs> Sorry, there's a quick change in there. I didn't play the first time. Thank you. 
All right, I think it's looping there. Yeah. All right. So we had there was not actually twelve bar blues. It was well a variation on the twelve bar blues. It was one two three four one two three four one two three four five two three four six two three four seven two three four eight two three four nine two three four ten two three four eleven two three four. 12, 2, 3, 4, 13, 2, 3, 4, 14, uh, yeah, I lost count, maybe it was 16 bars, anyway, wasn't quite 12, hey, let's check out the next one. Oh, come on, oh, come on. been here before. Great to swing. Jazz. Love it. Walking bass and everything. All right, that was really cool because it was like a lot. It was like a live rock concert. That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. That we've actually heard this same song basically before. But what was really cool is that we had not heard it rock like this. Well, it's not a delay. That's wild. Yeah. So really cool. Really cool. Pretty interesting chord progression there. Let's actually break down and understand what happened there. So we had D minor to C, well, D minor seven to C minor seven, D minor seven to C minor seven to B flat major seven to A flat major to essentially G sus to G seven to C major going straight back into D minor seven to C minor seven. Fascinating. Another one of those times where we really see bringing us all the way back from the beginning of this stream, both the C major and then also a C minor seven holding, maybe not 
roles of being home, but certainly not leading us to different places. Very interesting to have both of those together in the same song. Now, according to chat, looks like no one's really looking forward to the next song, so... I mean, maybe we'll just take a break and tune our guitars and, I don't know, eat coffee beans covered in chocolate. I, I, I don't know what you like to do with your time. I mean, maybe coffee beans covered with chocolate is your idea of a good time. Certainly, uh, certainly tastes yummy. I mean, like, if, if you're going to eat coffee beans, they should be covered in chocolate, is my opinion. But, hey, that's just me. Hey, I think I, <laughs> I'd be a good politician. I can filibuster. All right, this one is called Shower Time Ballad. Let's go. <laughs> Bad opinion. <laughs> yeah, okay. phasing between the ears. Do you actually hear how the sound's bouncing back and forth? Sort of like when shower, if you're taking a shower, if you move your head from side to side, it actually hits your ears and you can hear the very similar effect here. Oh, that slap bass is sick. All right, so let's actually break down what happened in that chord progression there. Went C minor, A flat, B flat, G minor, A flat, F minor, G, C. And so to break that down using numbers, because you know we love putting musicians, we love putting numbers to different things. We have a one flat six flat seven. Five, flat six, four, five, one. As this one is called Intense Guys.
Okay, so what we just heard, well, two songs ago, we heard an 8-bit drum track where I decided to play to Blister in the Sun for whatever reason. This song, what we're hearing, are snare drums. Snare drums is a particular kind of drum. The reason why it makes the sound like that is because there's actually like metal bars, little, little metal filaments that are touching the skin of the drum on the bottom. So it's when you hit the top, those little metal filaments actually vibrate and buzz against the bottom, which creates that sound. Same ending as it had in the last one. Man, this one time I was, I don't know, 16, 17. I can't remember. But there was, oh my gosh, there was some band. We were at some town. I was very fortunate to uh, be able to go study in France. Um, yeah, it must have been 16 or 17 or 18, something in there. I remember I was with my family. We were in some town in France, and they were having like a festival. And I convinced the guys in the band to let me come play a blues with them like this. And it was wild. I, I don't know how I did it. But I, I just made friends with the drummer. I remember he had a double kick drum. I was like, oh, cool. You've got a double kick drum. I usually play metal. You playing metal today? He was like, no. And uh, I found my way into I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I play guitar. I play, play guitar. You think I could play a song with you guys? They were like, yeah. I'm telling you, if you're a musician out there and you want opportunities to play, there's opportunities for you to play everywhere. Not everyone will let you jump up and sit in. That's what it's called, sitting in at their gig. You know, even when I was like a couple of years into my professional career as a musician, I remember going to uh, an old teacher of mine's gig, not teacher, but like martial arts teacher. And I was like, hey, could I sit in and play a song with you guys? He's like, yeah, no, we're not really doing anyone sitting in today. And it was like, okay, I guess so. So, the point is, look, if you want to play music, all you got to do is make it happen. Go make friends with people who play music and go play music. That's it. Go look. Keep in mind, though, I did learn how to play the guitar first. I did take years of guitar lessons and practice for hours and hours. But the point is, all you got to do is make it happen. Get the skills, then go out, make friends, play music. I remember it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so so someone called out John to be good, which is that soul from. <laughs> Uh, there you go. That is the actual solo from John to be good. Kind of. I messed up one note in there. Yeah, that's the idea. There we go. Okay. wild that's wild that's just like we actually heard this now happen twice that i guess in addition to all the different ways that the game is trying to mess with your timing they're not completely changing not only the tempo or the speed of the music but the actual genre and style switching from jazz from like a i don't know cuban bongo something to like straight up walking jazz swinging back and forth would be very hard to keep especially if you have timing to keep the timing consistent between the two very interesting to see that this is a new way the game has to create variations in timing to make it more difficult for the player to accurately create combinations okay this next one is called bon voyage amigo I think that was a loop. Jack, can you from that's a loop? Okay, so let's talk about this song a little bit because, okay, no one, it was a little quiet. But here's the thing, very much sort of wrapping things up. And indeed, hearing a lot of things we've heard before, 
by the soundtrack including I think we only got that minor six one time. The other time it was there. Very much wrapping things up, bringing us home, telling us that things are, well, done, at least for this chapter, because there's still more to go. We have one more song, make sure you hang out for it, and then I'll give you my final reaction and summary. <laughs> Sounds like Jacob Collier. Well, if we didn't need any more evidence to prove that the incredible musician, songwriter, composer, Jacob Collier is in fact an alien, we just got it because turns out that's the music aliens make. Jacob Collier makes music that sounds like that. One plus one equals two in my book. So that's pretty cool. Well, all right, my final reaction summary, let me tell you. Number one, hit like, subscribe, and then crush that notification bell. Hey. What's really cool about everything we heard here is that chapter three was fundamentally different than chapter one and chapter two. We heard callbacks for sure, but there was no there was no overlap, like direct, direct overlap, which is which is just absolutely crazy. I mean, the amount of time and effort and love. We're on chapter four. We're on chapter four. Right, excuse me. I'm thinking stream number three. We're on stream number three, which is chapter three and chapter four. I apologize, chat. We we already established last week, I can't count. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. So, we did three and four today. Both three and four were separate from each other and also separate from one and two. Absolutely incredible. Tremendous amount of love, care, and effort. Either way, my point stands that tremendous amount of care, love, and effort went into creating this, and it's absolutely amazing. And honestly, it is an honor to go through this music and break it down and share just this moment with you guys. And again, you know, I just really want to say thank you to the creators of this. Thank you to Nintendo for putting smiles on our faces with this. And uh, yeah, that's that. That's what I'm thinking. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to read some super chats. If you haven't super chatted yet, you are more than welcome to still do so. All you need to do is super chat and say the name of the OST, the soundtrack you would like for me to react to next. That's it. Go ahead and put whatever you want. The higher the amount, the higher it pushes your desired reaction up on the list. Anyone is welcome to super chat. You can do that now as we start to read some Super Chats. I'm going to go ahead and pull up some background music for us. And we're going to rock and roll like that. Here we go. All right. TMAC1313 has been the best supporters member ever. For six months. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, T Mac. Thank you for your support. Redman202 says, just clarifying, I'm sorry this is elaborated elsewhere. Do you also count super thanks put on videos that are stream VODs towards upvoting certain OSCs? Yes, yes, Rubberman. I actually regularly check a couple times a week to make sure all super thanks are are counted and if you write a super thanks and you add a super thanks to any video you'll see i will respond and say noted or i'll heart the comment i'll respond in some way to make sure you know that it has been counted and i actually add it to upvote whatever ost the super thanks goes to yes it is possible uh pizza tower you've got it rubber man by the way rubber man i don't know if you've seen but a lot of people on the channel have been talking about pizza tower in various places Pikachu says, hey, Dan, this is to upvote you because you got it, Pikachu, and thank you so much for helping out with the playlist at the last minute. Micaroni, welcome to Kazoo Club. 
TMAC1313 says, check the list. We got a ways. We've got a ways to go for more Uematsu. This is Final Fantasy VI. You got it, TMAC. The Manini Boy says, don't mind me, just casually outvoting Fire Emblem Fates. You got it, Manini Boy. Mikaroni says, I am happy to finally catch one of your streams live. You've helped me get through my nights at work by playing along and teaching us about music to some of my favorite gaming soundtracks. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so happy this has helped you get through nights at work, Mikaroni. Ah, that means a lot to me. This means a lot to you. Send an outfit for Final Fantasy VI, please. You got it, Mika. Weirdness Unfolds says, Seconding Rubberman Pizza Tower is a wonderfully weird OST, even more than anything, plus funky. Either way, this goes to Zelda Twilight Princess. You got it, Weirdness. Irish Soy Boy. Thank you very much. Irish Soy Boy says, Morning, Dan. Putting in a fat hundred for the binding of Isaac OST plus Anti-Birth Soundtrack. Both convey the game's themes in their own unique way. Keep it up. Thank you so much for your support and your super chat, Irish Soy Boy. Joshua Villarreal, great to see you on the channel. It's been a while. Joshua says, after 10,000 years, I love you for 10,000 years. I love you for 10,000 more. Says, uh, I'm free. Uh, time to attend live sessions again. Good life stuff happened. I'm glad to hear good life stuff happened, Joshua. I'm very happy for you. This is my favorite game for sentimental reasons. Glad to see it being reacted to. Shout out to Rubberman202. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Rubberman202. Well, great to see you again, Joshua. Glad you're back. FSAPO. Hey, FSAPO. Says, sending this super chat your way because I love your shows and want to show my support. Thank you very much. Anyway, putting this towards Sonic Adventure. Have a great day. Also, you have the best guitar for Yeah, the guitar. I, there's nothing I can do about that. The guitar doesn't work unless I make a face while I play it. <laughs> Thank you for your, for your support, FSAPO. The Incompetent Hero. So starting my birthday up right with some great jams. Put this towards Sonic. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh-oh. We got a birthday, people. Everyone, we've got a birthday. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, we got a birthday. Is anyone else's birthday? If it is, speak now or forever hold your sneeze. All right, here we go. There we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear incompetent hero. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Many more. <laughs> okay. In common here, you can clip that and keep that forever. Okay. Vex Lizard says, little Final Fantasy VI boost. Per usually, you got it, Vex. Nex says, let's go, Justin. Not sure who Justin is, but let's go. Just put this, uh, just put this on the list. Please put this for Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. You got it, Nex. Puddin' Hunt 11. Member for 10 months. Kazoo Club, thanks for your support, Puddin' Hunt. And comment here, just joined Kazoo Club. And comment here, go vote, because I'm going to count those votes today, probably. Go vote, go vote. Go vote in the members tab. Pikachu says, I'd also like to put this towards Persona 5 Royale. You got it, Pikachu. You stabbed me with a fork. Ouch. Says, this is for Pizza Tower. Just doing my part. You got it. You stabbed me with a fork. And you stabbed me with a fork. Goes on to say, oh, and this is for World of Goo. Gotta keep with the favorite. Still my top OSD of all time. Also, happy birthday, hero. All right, ladies and germs. It's been real.
Hope you have a fantastic, phenomenal rest of your days. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, crush that notification bell. And for those of you that are still here, I'm going to invite you to two places because you hung out with me all the way to the end. That means you're my ride or dies. If you're ride or die for me, I will be ride or die for you. That's how it goes. So everyone who is here, hang on, because I'm going to invite you to two free things. Okay, first thing I'm going to invite you to is my Discord. See if I can remember how to work Discord. Give me a second here. Okay, there we go. There's a little invite link. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Go ahead and click that link. Come hang out in my Discord. Oh, yeah, the Discord only comes out at the very end. Of yeah. You know, you never know what you're going to find at the end of a stream. So go ahead and click on that link. Come join me on Discord. Now, if any of you want to learn how to make your own music or you want to learn how to play music, that Discord is kind of a general place to hang out if you're a fan of the channel. But if you really want to get better at music, you want to up your music game, you want to learn to maybe write your own video game music, if you want to just play guitar, whatever it is you want to do in music, here's my music group. That's over on Facebook. I do free lessons every week. Post cool things in there. Go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more about music. Oh, and I can hear the sound of people coming into Discord, which is so cool. All right, y'all. Have a fantastic, phenomenal rest of your days. Take care. Shout out to a little lady. Give me some hearts in the uh, hearts in the chat. Hey there, little lady. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Take care and goodbye.